What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, please subscribe. Today's video. Okay, the biggest danger for uh, beginners in judo. The biggest dangers for beginners in judo is actually sparring with other beginners. And the reason for that is because take two people who don't know how to fight, it's going to be <laughs> catastrophic. And the reason why is because they just both don't know what to do and they just spaz out. It usually doesn't end by somebody, you know, going too hard, the other one, you know, taking it the wrong way, going even harder and it just escalates and they just go like all out, but they don't have any technique and they don't know what the, they're doing. You guys see that in BJJ too, when you have two, two white belts rolling, you know, and who's done a few classes, oh my God, they, they go so hard and it's, it's painful to watch. Like they don't have that control yet. They're not able to stay relaxed and to, to you know, they don't, it, and it's normal, it's normal. But in judo, it's worse because if two guys don't know what they're doing, and I mean, oh my God, the stuff that they do with their legs, like, you know, how they tangle it up and stuff like that, like it's, it, your knees just go, explode, you know? And that's how, that's how it goes. It's good to test yourself against somebody who has the same, uh, same level as you, more or less, right? The same progression level. So if, you know, uh, you're fighting with um, uh, your white, white belt, another white belt, so more or less, even if he's been there a little bit longer or vice versa, white belt versus yellow belt, yellow belt versus orange belt, you know? So it, it's good, but a little bit dangerous. What I would suggest, you go spar with black belts because the black belts, they have a lot of experience, so they're not gonna use a lot of force. They'll let you work. They'll be able to like lower their level, uh, skill level, so that you know that you, you can, they'll let you work. You can do your thing. If you do something good, they'll, they'll even take the fall. Oh, okay, you did it, boom. You know, of course, if you do it all crooked, they're not just gonna fall for you, but they're not gonna like crazy attack you and, and beat you down and like break you in half, you know? It's, they're not about that. But if they throw you, they're gonna control it and they'll hold you back. Because when you throw someone in judo, you gotta hold that sleeve there, you know? It softens the landing. Because if you land both shoulders on the ground, bang, yeah, you're, it hurts, you're gonna be winded and you can get uh, concussed. If you're a beginner in judo, go fight with the black belts. You're gonna see, no problem. Unless you got a crazy one. This happened to me, but I think it's because I kind of posed the danger right from the get-go because when I, when I started judo when I was 36, I already had a big background in martial arts and uh, athletics and all that because uh, I've been doing martial arts my whole life. I played a lot of sports uh, and I did BJJ for six years prior to going to judo. My first judo coach actually knew how to break fall and knew some throws. So he taught me those and I was, I was, I was very good at, uh, I was already good at break falling. You know, and I, I knew a couple of moves. I, obviously, I didn't know how to do them well. At least I thought I did until I went to judo, and that's when I realized I completely sucked and uh, was doing things wrong. I, I already posed the danger right from the get-go, and then some of them went really hard and busted my knee. And then I had this other old guy who was essentially like a high-level black belt. He was on a national team, and this guy was just crazy, man. His thing was, I'll explode you. He looks at you, and his thing was just, he's gonna go, and explode you and blow you up, you know, blow you up like boom, it just goes in. Woof. So I got two black belts busted up my knee two times. It's opposite to what I'm saying to you, but generally speaking, after those two bad experiences or in between or whatever, the black belts were cool. Like you never get hurt sparring with a black belt. If you see the black belt is crazy and you're just destroying everybody, okay, don't go with that one. But generally speaking, Black belts won't hurt you. The guys who are the same level, ah, yeah. at least if they're the same level, but higher level, like let's say for example, both of them are green, blue, then it starts to be a little bit more technical depending on the, you know, the, the individuals of course, but generally, uh, you know, like green, blue, it, it starts to look a little bit more like judo. <laughs> There's less uh, danger of you getting busted up entangled and all kinds of craziness until then until you get to you know like green or green and blue if you can spend a lot more time sparring with the black belts they're gonna you're gonna learn a lot you won't get hurt and then once in a while of course go test yourself out with guys who are your level i hope that made sense guys and uh that's it for this one peace so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me 
on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.